Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about everything the finals does right. So in my past couple of videos, I made, um, well, I, I talked about some things that the final does wrong, and I was kind of like picking on the game a little bit. And in this video, I want to do the opposite. I want to talk about everything that the finals does right. The first of which is obviously going to be the cosmetics. The cosmetics are probably just the best out of any FPS game going at the moment. Uh, in general, it's better than COD, better than Apex, better than Overwatch, all that kind of stuff. The cosmetics are just better, and also you can obviously mix and match, which is huge as well. So, like, if I get this skin, you know, I can put this helmet on, and then I can put a completely different, like, top on uh, as well. So having the ability to mix and match is also, like, fantabu- like, fantabulous? Is that a word? I don't know. And then in the Battle Pass, you also get the- you get enough multi-box to buy the next Battle Pass as well, with more multi bucks, if that makes sense. So that's also like a, a fair battle pass system, which Overwatch still doesn't do. Well, it actually didn't do up until recently, but I think that might have changed recently. Or maybe it's going to be changed or something. So cosmetics, just really, really cool. I mean, like, if I just go to my contestants here and I go to my style and I go to my outfit, which is the first one, like, some of this stuff really is just pretty cool. Uh, the cosmetics, they definitely don't, like, back out of it. And if you ever go to, like, a weapon... Um, like inspect or something if you go to the m11 and you shoot the bullets out of the m11 I think the stuff that comes out of it is like little little game chips or something or if you go to the Lewis gun on the heavy and you go to this skin not this one if you go to it is this gun it's this skin if you go to this skin I think it shoots out uh, like whatever goes in there normally or it, like it shoots something out to do with the skin for certain skins and like they always get um, special inspects. I know the lights throwing knife, the the card throwing knife. I think they have a special inspect as well. Um, so this like they really, really, really go for it on the cosmetics, and I don't think any other FPS game really does that, or they don't really go as hard as as the finals do. So that's definitely the first thing because that like the cosmetics really are just fantastic. So I just wanted to start off with that and shout that out. So then I wanted to talk about the servers. If I play. Warzone or maybe even Overwatch or something like that, I'll always, well, I'll sometimes get a little bit of lag. And if I get a little bit of lag, um, I feel like the game's just really going to be against me and really in my opponent's favor. And if I'm like elastic banding or something like that, it's probably just not going to go great for me. Like that match or something isn't going to go great for me. In the finals, everything is surface side. So you never elastic band. Like, I don't know if you've realized this, but I I've never elastic banded in, in the finals, and that's because of however they've done, like, the network thing or something. I don't really know anything about it. Um, but that's just fantastic. And also, like, my internet isn't the best, and sometimes I will get a little bit of lag, but I definitely don't notice it so much in the finals. So I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. I'm sure if you have, like, lots and lots of ping, you'll definitely still get some type of lag. Um... But I, I, like, normally get medium amounts of lag in other games, but I don't get that in the finals, or I definitely, like, don't seem to notice it in the finals. So I just wanted to mention that as well, because lag is always super annoying, and I do get it in multiple other games that I play. And in the finals, I just, just never really noticed it so much, so I think that's very, very good as well. Another thing I wanted to mention is that the developers listen to what the players say. So a while ago, I think uh, before the most recent patch, in this, in one of the challenger circuits, which I don't actually know how to get to, contracts, in one of these challenger circuits, I think it was this one, there was some challenge where you had to um, win a ranked game and people didn't like that, basically, and then it got changed to something else. So that was just the developers listening to the player base, and that wasn't like the first time. I've definitely done this. I don't know why that's. I still haven't done that, but anyway. Um, the developers do listen to what people say. Like, sometimes people will complain about something, and then in the next patch that will go and be fixed or changed or something. So, oh, I just hit my microphone accidentally. But I wanted to mention that as well, because that's quite rare, especially when you've got, like, these big companies with loads and loads of developers and some guy at the top that just doesn't care about what the player base says. I think it's very, very good that the finals does have that. Also, the amount of free stuff that is given out is kind of insane. So if you go to the challenge, to, to any of the circuits here, like, and you complete these challenges, and then you get the skins, like, this is completely free. You don't have to pay for this. You don't need the battle pass for this. There's no, like, extra premium currency for this or anything. You can just go ahead 
and do all these circuits and then get certain skins and weapon charms and stuff like that for completing this and also for events for the cowboy um event there was like a free set for the recent power shift event there was a free set for the christmas event there was a free set and i don't think any game does that i think fortnite like gave out a free skin once for some christmas event but they really didn't do it that often and i think normally it's like backpacks and pickaxes and stuff like that even in fortnite but in this they just give you free sets um, and that's really 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 cool to see so even if you haven't bought the battle pass or you haven't saved enough uh, multi bucks to buy the battle pass or something there's always free stuff and even in the shop actually in the shop recently there was this um namatama goo grenade i think where is it let's find the goo grenade which is here, I clicked on it, and now this was just completely free, and it was just in the item shop. So he just went into the item shop, and he bought it, even though it didn't cost anything, and then you have this. So I just wanted to mention that as well, because um, no other game that I know of gives out this much free stuff. Um, and again, the cosmetics in this game are really awesome, so that's just very, very, very cool to see. So I wanted to mention that too. The loadouts are fun. So even if you're playing ranked, so this is like my current ranked loadout for Heavy. This is a fun loadout. The flamethrower is like a very, very fun weapon. The RPG, you know, it just blows stuff up. That's always cool. And the dome shield and barricade maybe isn't so fun, but Chardon Sam I think is fun as well. I think this is like a very fun loadout and I just quite like using it. Um, and it's very, 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 uh, like you can compete with it at ranked. It's like very viable in the ranked system. Even something like the MGL 32 is viable in ranked as well and i think these are two like very very fun weapons to use maybe not the sledgehammer so much unless you've got like your team compensating for it completely but there are several loadouts even in ranked that you can run that are just like fun to use and then if you're not running ranked if you're just running quick play then obviously you can go with something crazy like sledgehammer and like goo gun and then pair that with like pyro grenades and then more goo just so you can like set everything on fire with the goo gun and the um goo grenades and then you can set it on fire with the pyro grenade then you can try and goo people and then finish them off with the sledgehammer just there there is like so much stuff you can do in quick play and some of it is viable and ranked that's like genuinely just like fun to go in and try out um, and also the quick beat mode is just fun as well like just go in it's basically like a team deathmatch no one really focuses the objective so much uh, which is fine because it's casual it's like casual games um, but it's fun. It's like fun to get kills, fun to defend the objective, fun to get those last second cash outs. And sometimes video games just feel like they aren't so fun anymore. Like if you go and play Warzone, you're just going to get killed by, you know, like the server is going to be against you really um, in a lot of games. And you're just going to get killed by someone that has like a much higher time to kill than you do on them. And it just, it doesn't feel great. And it all kind of feels very, very try hard, I think. But in casual, I think this is... Pro this is probably going to like take the cake for a game that is actually fun to just go in, play a couple games, and then, you know, come back out and go do something else. But I think you will get like actual enjoyment out of it rather than it kind of, you know, feeling like a little bit of a, of a chore, which I think is quite rare, actually, these days. Just to quickly touch back on the on the free skins thing. All of this is, uh, is, is free skins. So every time you level up a weapon... You get a free skin for it. So I'm I'm level one with the sledgehammer here. Um, I got this from a from a beta for reaching diamond. But um, all of these skins here. So reach rank two with a sledgehammer, you get that. Rank four, rank three, rank five, rank seven, and this is rank six. I think I don't like this. I think if they ever add another one, I think there should be another type of skin because I think the like tiger pink and black isn't fantastic. Well, I just don't like it. You, you might like it, but that this is for everything. So there's always something yellow for rank two, always something blue for rank three, red for rank four, five, white for rank five, seven for, I mean the like yellow and black tiger stripes for rank seven, and the this one for rank six. But that's on every single weapon. So again, even if you're not you know, paying for the battle pass or anything, you can just go and unlock that for absolutely everything. It's there for the gadgets as well. So for the pyro grenade here, you can go and unlock all of that same stuff. Um, it is just the same skin. So like rank six for this pyro grenade is the same thing as it would be for rank six with the um, RPG or anything else. But it is still there. It is stuff to grind for. And it does take a while to like level that up to the to the highest and actually unlock the skin so if you're someone that likes grinding for his stuff and grinding for cosmetics and things like that 
there is a lot to go for here. Like, even I, with the RPG, which I pretty much always have on, haven't got to the max rank yet. So it definitely does take a while to, to properly grind for it, which I think is a good thing because it gives you something to, to play for. Oh, yeah. And also, this is going back to the cosmetics again, but also where... Yeah, here you have 50 completely free cosmetics to unlock. So this is... I've unlocked all of them, but this is just in the progression tab of the career section. But if you're, like, new to the game and you just level up usually, you're going to unlock all of this stuff as well just for free. You don't have to buy anything. You just install the game, you play it a little bit, and you get to, to level 49 or above, and then you get all of this stuff. And I think this is probably going to be added to a little bit as well. But this is just more free stuff to grind for, which is really, really cool. I will also say the developers are quite open with all of the stuff they share. So, like, whenever there's a new patch they have all of the patch notes on their site which is fantastic it's really annoying having to to guess what is changed sometimes like some video games just don't have patch notes and you have to like try and figure out what was actually patched but in the finals it says everything it says even like the really really minor stuff which is fantastic like the really really minor bug fixes that really don't change a whole lot that's still going to be listed in the patch notes which is very very good it just means that there's no guessing and you can just go and look at it yourself and see what's been changed and that's very, very good. And also then sometimes um, they'll have live, live streams. I think Oscar, uh, who, who works for Embark, does live streams on the official The Finals YouTube channel. And sometimes he just like talks about stuff, like what's being worked on and all that kind of stuff. So there's like a lot of openness from everyone who's developing the game as well, which is always very, 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 very good. And it's like rarer and rarer, um, I think. But it's very, very good that that's a thing as well. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. I, I wanted to make like a positive video on everything as opposed to my negative videos that went out like the other day. Um, I will just say if this game had a good rank system and a good matchmaking system, I think it would pop off a lot more because right now I think the rank system and the matchmaking system is really just holding it back. If that was like fixed and in an ideal place, I think a lot of people would kind of start coming back to this and start playing it because I know you know, people that play Warzone or Overwatch or something like that, they kind of play it for the rank system. Anyone that has a lot of hours in those games, I think they play it for the ranked, for the grind, try and get into like the leaderboard and all that. In the finals, it just really doesn't have a fantastic rank system. And I think if that's fixed, then everyone's going to be able to focus on more of the positive aspects of it and maybe like kind of start coming to the game, which I think would be good. Um, but yeah, there you go. That That's all. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.